Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So behind me I have a brand new 2023 Ford Raptor, a very bare bones edition of it, as well as my own. I have an Avalanche Gray, 30, both 35 packages here, neither of which are the 37 performance package, but one of them costs 78,500, whereas the other costs $91,000. Can you guess which one? So mine here has an MSRP, had an MSRP of 84,500. Whereas this one here has an MSRP of just under uh, $81,000. But this particular dealership, you can kind of see it back there, Ken Gar Ford in Cheyenne, Wyoming, my hometown of Wyoming, a hometown of 65,000 people in a state of 585,000 people, you'd think they would care a little bit more about you know, building a loyal customer base, earning returning customers. You would think in a community like this, in a state like this, we would get a dealership with that kind of mentality. Unfortunately, that's not the case. They have a $10,000 additional dealer markup on this particular Ford Raptor. And if you're not following the Ford Raptor prices right now, I guess new vehicle prices in general across the board, you would know that that is absolutely ridiculous. Ford Raptors right now, in order to be competitive on a non-37 performance package, they need to be three to $4,000 below MSRP to be competitive. Maybe $2,000, you can still be a little competitive, but absolutely not when it comes to doing a markup. $10,000 markup too, that is insane. 37 performance packages are sitting on lots across the nation right now, collecting dust at MSRP. These ones here, if you're not, if you're not gonna sell at a discount below MSRP, forget about it, especially a 2023 model. Tomorrow is 2024 you'd think they would try a little bit harder rather than sticking people with a huge markup. So let me show you, I'll walk you around, and for those of you who are cross shopping, I'll show you my Avalanche Gray Raptor here too. $84,000 is the MSRP here. I spent 78,500. So I got $5,300 off of MSRP just a few weeks ago on my 2023 Ford Raptor. So kind of ridiculous. Let me show you around. We got a peanut feature. Hi, it's really cold out in the morning. My hands are cold. <laughs> you can hop in the truck if you're cold, Peanut. I know. <laughs> so I'll make this quick, guys. So Oxford White right here, of course, the bare bones wheels here. This is a very, very simplistic version of the Raptor. And there you have it. $92,000, excuse me, because they like to stick you with the Cheyenne package too. As if the $10,000 markup wasn't bad enough, they gotta get you a two grand for a, a made up package for protection, blah, 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 right? So that is ridiculous. I hate seeing that. And well, you don't even have a bed liner. How about that? <laughs> so absolutely ridiculous. You know, don't fall victim to this stuff. I mean, some dealerships, this is a prime example. You know, they just can't let go. They can't let go of the greedy dealer, dealer markups. You know, they, they were able to successfully deploy them during the pandemic, which I think is awful enough. And because they were able to do that, they refused to let go of them. And that's pathetic to me. $92,000 for an $81,000 Ford Raptor. That should easily be $77,000 right now. So they're, they're acing you with $15,000 more than what you should be paying. And it pains me because there could very well be a sucker that walks in here. You know, they, maybe they, they didn't do their homework and they see this and like, holy cow, this is such a cool truck. And they'll convince them that, hey, you know, this is your last opportunity to get one. You know, it's gonna be, you know, they're very rare. They produce very little. Most of them are spoken for and they'll sucker somebody into buying it. And I hate that, especially in my own hometown here in my own community, I hate seeing that. So there's your Oxford White. Let me show you the difference here with the Avalanche Gray. Obviously I have a bias, but I love the uniqueness to this Avalanche Gray. Show you the side. Yeah, especially with the 2024 Ford Raptor right on the horizon. They stopped making the 2023s. They ended production of this a few weeks ago. So the delivery of all the remaining 23s are hitting the lots right now. So dealerships should be trying their best to sell this right now. They should be doing everything possible to sell this last year's model at the end of the month before 2024 hits. 
but not this dealership. They don't care about that. You know, I personally, you know, I, I am an organizational psychologist. I love the fact, or I normally love tracking how businesses and corporations, you know, what, what their business models are. And this one here is just a very nearsighted business model. Very, it's tunnel vision is what it is. And it's pathetic to see. Yeah, you expect, you expect a dealership perhaps in like Seattle, Washington, or Chicago, or Miami, or San Francisco, you expect those huge cities to maybe deploy those greedy tactics because they don't care about the customer. Because there's so many people, if you don't buy it, well, somebody will, of the other, you know, three million people that live in the city, somebody will buy it. Whereas here in Cheyenne, there's, there's only 65,000 people. You, know, you go, you drive to the local Walmart, you see the same people, you bump into people all the time. Your reputation matters in a community like this. I would argue more than a big city. So, definitely a shame to see a dealership in Cheyenne, Wyoming take advantage of their customers. Shame on them. Let me know what your thoughts are. Appreciate you watching as always. Until next time.